The much anticipated movie First Man, the true story of Neil Armstrong, the first human ever to step foot on the moon, made its landing in theaters. This movie had it all, great actors, incredible performances, visionary directing, breathtaking special effects, and incredible source material. It only missed one thing. Why? I'm Ben Davies, this is Pure Hollywood. First Man is the fourth movie by the director Damien Chazelle, and his short movie lists have all been Oscar gold, and First Man will be no different. So most importantly, does this movie live up to its potential masterpiece, or fall short on its lunar landing? As a viewer, I give First Man a 4 out of 5. And minor spoilers ahead. Ryan Gosling's minimalist audition tape in the movie Drive has set him up to play every leading introspective man for the next 10 years. And in a movie that is almost shot entirely in close-up shots, you need someone with the career charisma, the stillness, and the control of Ryan Gosling, and he absolutely knocks this out of the park. And also, the feelings created by Damien in this movie were incredible. You feel the claustrophobia, you feel the awe, you feel the captivation. You get that small taste of what the astronauts actually would have felt. The practical effects were just awesome, and much like the movie Mission Impossible Fallout or Gravity, this is a movie you definitely want to go see in theaters. As a critic, I give it a 4 out of 5. I really wanted to give this movie a 5 out of 5 because it really is a work of art. The characters are complex, the stakes are high, the production is top notch. It has everything you want from a cinematic movie, but it leaves out one key detail to drive the story. Why? One of the greatest war movies of all time, Saving Private Ryan, balanced this really well. Each man had their reasons, their own individual motivations, to drive them in the missions, but they all shared the same overall cause, the same why, the same backdrop. It was to win the war for freedom. That was why they were there. They weren't just a bunch of individuals that wanted to go out there and shoot and run and gun. And the movie would have suffered if they had just done it that way. Now, in First Man, each individual character is complex, and they have their own reasons and motivations for doing something, but the movie fails to give you the overall reason for doing so. JFK made this reason clear in his famous Moonray speech, and every historian on this topic will tell you the reason why we went there and what it meant, including Roger L. Linus, the senior curator for the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum. He said, quote, the driving reason was the Cold War, competition with the Soviet Union. Without that, it wouldn't have happened, unquote. And this goes back to the flag planting controversy in the movie, and in not including that specific scene and that motivation, you remove the why. They completely gloss over the Cold War and why. They just start talking about, look, we have to get to the moon first. We have to show the world. But why? Why did so many risks need to be taken? Why did so many lives need to be lost? And this is highlighted halfway through the movie when you have protesters of the Vietnam War saying, why are we spending billions on NASA? Like, what I can't even eat. People are going to the moon and I don't have a job. It's because they never addressed the why. It was a war of ideologies. It was freedom versus communism. Men gave their lives to win the hearts of the world. We needed to show people that the greatest potential released for mankind was through freedom, not produced by the crushing gears of communism. And if they had kept that simple backdrop, that simple motivation of why, everything would have fallen into place so perfectly. However, because they chose not to, many of these missions and the people themselves come off as a bit masochistic, delusional, or selfish. Spending all this blood and resources resources for what? Pride? And rather having that theme be the drive of the mission and why we're doing it in the first place, and then having each individual character's motivation and interpersonal struggles be highlighted and make it awesome, they try to build on the drive of innovation and expanding horizons in science. They literally take time in the movie to show the astronauts collecting moon dust. Sorry, no, we didn't spend billions of dollars and decades and resources so we could go collect dust on the moon. Neil was not sent there to collect moon dust. He was there to plant a flag of freedom for the world to see. My Faith and Values is a three out of five. There really aren't any blanket values shown in the movie. And again, most of the characters in the movie come off as a bit selfish because there's no overarching motivation for them. But you do get to see Neil push forward a bit for his fellow man. He loves and cares deeply for his daughter. And you really get to see a man determined. However, it still comes off a bit selfish because you get to see the divide between he and his wife, the little distance shown between he and his sons. Because again, they don't show the selfless reasons why why, other than his own personal goals to get there. Overall, this is a great movie to watch in theaters. Go check it out. I'm Ben Davies. This is Pure Hollywood. Did you enjoy that video? Of course you enjoyed that video. So now you need to become a premium member to The Rebel. That way, you have first access to Pure Hollywood and the entire Rebel lineup.